While living in the Rio Diablo Mountains of New Mexico, Alex and Lorna stumbled upon a brood star shark. Alex went to warn the X-Men, who he found on the run from the Mr. Sinister's marauders. Storm ordered Psylocke to erase his memory so he wouldn't remember the X-Men were going to go underground and become a proactive strike force. Because Professor Xavier had trained him in mental defense, his psi shields made him have reoccurring nightmares of being attacked by the X-Men. Alex left Lorna to check on the X-Men again. This time Psylocke refused to erase his memory a second time, fearing she might damage his mind. Havoc agreed to return to the X-Men in their time of need. While Havoc was away the Marauders went after Polaris. The psychic entity Malice possessed her body and assumed leadership of the Marauders. Havoc ran into Polaris, Malice in San Francisco when she was attempting to kill Madeline Pryor, who was still in a hospital. Malice made Alex aware of the fact that Lorna was being controlled and tormented him with the knowledge that he could do nothing about it. In Dallas, Texas, the X-Men and Madeline Pryor gave their lives to imprison the adversary. The Omniversal Guardian Roma restored the X-Men to life. The event was broadcast live on television and the world believed the heroes to be dead. After being resurrected, the X-Men decided to go underground and keep their rebirth secret. The X-Men resurfaced in Australia, where they defeated the Reavers and claimed their base. Roma magically made them invisible to any sort of detection such as cameras. The X-Men next investigated the brood star shark Havoc had found and tracked the source to Harry Palmer, who was unaware he was infected and had made an entire crash of mutant hosts. The X-Men were conflicted over killing the human hosts, but Havoc was forced to kill several of them. He was left to wonder if killing becomes easier each time. Alex began to feel remorse for the lives he had taken, feeling that he was becoming more like Wolverine and resented the idea. Madeline Pryor soon learned that the reason Scott had abandoned her when she saw him on television with Jean Grey. The demon Sem offered to help her locate her missing son and promised to give her a chance to get back at Scott and Jean. He infected her with his magic. Alex was confused and lonely because of the Polaris, Malice situation. Madeline seduced him into an affair. Madeline transformed into the Goblin Queen and caused a demonic invasion of New York with Havoc as her Goblin Prince. When X-Factor and X-Men met, Madeline manipulated brother against brother. Havoc accused Cyclops of abandoning his wife when she most needed him. Madeline, at last, learned she was a clone of Jean and was driven mad. She died fighting the X-Men and X-Factor while trying to sacrifice her son to gain more power. Mr. Sinister was seemingly killed by Cyclops. Alex and Wolverine were vacationing in Mexico and saved a woman from terrorist attackers. Alex woke up in a hospital in the care of nurse Scarlett McKenzie, who manipulated Alex and made him fall in love with her. Scarlett was actually working for the Russian scientist, Dr. Neutron, Meltdown, who wanted to use Alex as a means to absorb the energy of a breaking down atomic reactor and transmute it into himself. Scarlet told Alex that terrorists were trying to sabotage the plant. When he ventured into the heart of the reactor he found it reaching critical limit. Alex tried to absorb the dangerous radiation and when he witnessed Dr. Neutron killing Scarlet, he shot his plasma at him, making Neutron stronger. The timely arrival of Wolverine prevented a full disaster. After Logan seemingly killed the scientist, Alex redirected the nuclear radiation into space. For Alex's sake, Wolverine kept Scarlet's betrayal secret, as he was still trying to get over being manipulated by Madeline. Malice's hold over Polaris weakened due to the death of Sinister. After Lorna freed herself from Malice, she called the X-Men, including Havoc, for help from the southernmost tip of South America, only to be captured by Zaladane. Psylocke knew that returning to their Australian base was certain death, however, the teleporter gateway called the X-Men back leaving Polaris stranded in South America, without being asked. Roma had presented them with the Siege Perilous, a gem that created a portal which granted any person who walked through it judgment and a new chance at life, with a new career, home, and so forth. Psylocke persuaded Havoc and the rest of X-Men to walk through the Siege Perilous rather than die at the hands of the Reavers. Lorna eventually regained her freedom and headed to Muir Island. Alex re-emerged as a magistrate of Genosha, 
serving the state voluntarily. During this time Wolfsbane was forced to undergo the mutate process, and was genetically bonded to Magistrate Summers. In a battle with his brother, his memories returned. Afterward, he elected to remain in Genosha to help put a new, better state together.